Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Mainnames. Now we have been receiving requests asking us to cover more uh, advanced techniques on how to solve the Sudoku. So we have decided to go ahead and create a series of videos on that. But we will only be covering those techniques that will come handy in an offline Sudoku competition. We are not even going to touch those crazy computer-generated logics which have no role to play in a competitive environment. It would be a waste of your and my time as well. Apart from the headbanging that we'll be doing, <laughs> trying to get our heads around to what exactly the technique is all about. So, based on that, we'll be presenting a tutorial on how to spot and use the XY wing as it is called. So, if you are interested in following this series and learning more on how to use them, I suggest you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified whenever we update new content. And we have created a separate playlist for all videos that are educative and that elaborate the solving technique. So you can also go through those playlists and just focus on the videos that talk about solving techniques. And in the description of the video, I will be placing a link if you wish to try this Sudoku online directly on my website and try to use the technique on your own. So coming back to the Sudoku, what exactly is a XY wing? So let's have a look at this image that we have. <clears throat> now let's assume X, Y and Z are three digits and they are placed, uh, assume, so when I say there is an X, Y in R7, C5 which basically means there are pencil marks of X and Y which are the only two possibilities in R7, sorry C5. Similarly, I see that the possibilities in R4, C5 are X, Z and R8, C6 as the possibility Y and Z. Now, let's assume that all these three are obviously different digits. So, how do we use this information? So, basically the cell X where X and Y are present is known as the pivot of the point and the cells which are at the extremes are known as the wing ends, right? So, how does this information help us? So, what happens is, let's assume if R7C5 was an X, then R4C5 would become a Z, correct? Or, if R7C5 was a Y, then R8C6 would become a Z. So, what we understand from this is, irrespective of which digit comes in X or Y, as in R7, C5, that is, whether it's X or Y, the Z will either be in R4, C5 or R8, C6. Which basically means these marked cells, the brown cells, are common to both R4, C5 and R8, C6. Hence, we can eliminate the number which is identified by Z from these three cells. And this is how we use this XY wing to eliminate possibilities. Alright, so now let's see how this is used competitively and we'll solve the Sudoku to see that. So starting by Sudoku rules, in row, the first thing I notice is obviously yes, 3 in row 1 has to be here. That gives me a 5 and a 6 because we have a 5 here. Correct? So the missing digits here are 1, 7 and 9. 7 can't be here. 7 can't be here, this is a 7, this becomes a 9 because of this 1 and this is a 1, correct? So this is a 1, this is a 1, this is a 1, this is a 1, 4, 4 and then 8 and 9 is there, okay, 3, 3, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, 
9. So this has to be a 6 because 8, 3, 9 are blocked in row 7 or box 9. So the missing here, this 1 has to be here, 1, 1. So in column 5, this is not a 1, this is not a 1, this is not a 1, this becomes a 1, which gives me a 1 here. So this would be a 4, 5, 2, 4, sorry, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5. 6, 6, this is a 6, this is a 6, 6. So this has to be a 6. So I get a 1 here and this becomes a 1. This is a 4. So this also would be a 4 and a 5. So which are the missing numbers here? 2, 3 and 7. So this is a 2 by classic. 3 and a 7. And this would be a 4 and a 2. Which makes this a 2, 5. And here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This would be a 6 and this would be a 7. So this has to be a 4, 7, 4, 7. Sorry. Which would make this a 5. 5, 4, 2, 4, 7. Now I have the missing digits here are 3, 5. And this has to be a 8, 9. And here I'm missing out 5 and 8. So this is a 5, this is an 8. I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 are missing. 4 and 3 because of this. I have, this will be a 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this has to be an 8. So I require 5, 7 and 9. Alright. So now the missing numbers here are 1, 4 and 9. Okay. 2, 4, 2, 4. So this will be a 2, 4 and 4. 4, 4, 9, 9, 9. Um, I require a 5, 7, 9. 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 9, 5, 9. Here I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, just trying to see what all can be filled up. is possible. 4, 8, 9. two would be five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there is a naked nine. Hidden nine, I was just sorry. So this is one nine. This has to be a four. Sorry, four. And we have a one nine here. So this becomes a three eight. This also is three. All right, and obviously this would be a four now. Now, you remember the image that we saw of x, y, and z. So let's look at this cell five eight. This would be your x and y. So let's say five is x, and eight is a y. And we have a 3, 5 here. So we know that the Z is a 3. So we have an XY with an X, Z. Now we require to 
we need to identify the cell which is a YZ, which is basically 3 and 8, which we have here. Correct? So if this is a 5, this would be a 3. If this is an 8, this would be a 3. So we need to look at a cell which is a buddy cell to both R4C4 and R6C8, which would be this. So if this is a 5, this would be a 3 and the 3 would be eliminated from here. But if this was an 8, this would be a 3 and again the 3 would be eliminated from here. Basically, so what this means is, irrespective of which digit comes here, I cannot have a 3 here. Just using that X, Y, Z. So this is my 5 and a 3. So this would become 9, 8, 9, 9. So this would be an 8, this would be an 8, this would be a 9, this becomes a 9, 9, 1, 7, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7. And let's just check. That's it. So this was how the XY wing is supposed to be used when we are solving pseudo. So basically we just need to look and try and find combination three digits interacting with each other, forming a pair of two of two or two, XY, YZ and XZ. And then we try to correlate them to body cells and eliminate the extreme properties. Extreme property here being the number which are at the ends of that XY wing and eliminating them from the common cell. Hope you liked this video and it was informative. If you did, do like the video, share, share it with your friends, let them know about it. And if there is a specific technique that you want us to cover in the next video, do leave a comment on that. We look forward to reading your comments and giving you content that you want to see, not what we want to show. So, keeping that in mind, happy solving. Till the next time.